So I'm just at the beginning of the helix striping and I'm going to show you how to get started. I'm using four colours and I've got 96 stitches on this needle which is divisible by four. There's 24 stitches per section so 24 times four equals my 96 stitches. I've started, I've continued on, I've done the ribbing and I've continued on with the same colour as the ribbing which is blue and I've knitted 24 stitches. Now I'm going to put a section marker. I'm finished with the blue now and I'm going to change to another colour. I'm going to bring in green. So I'm bringing the blue over to the right hand side of my work. I'll bring in this green. Just fold it over and give yourself about a six inch tail. Put a section marker on, which I thought I did. Put the needle through and just start off as if you're knitting a, a stitch you're continuing on but you're continuing on with green just hold the tail in place don't do any crossing over of yarns which is ordinarily what you would be doing with color work there's no crossing in helix work helix stripes just hold on to that tail and continue knitting another 24 stitches in my case if I had this 96 stitches and I wanted three colours, I'd divide them by three, which would give me 32 stitches per section. But I'm using four colours, I've divided by four, and I've got 24 stitches per section. And I'm showing the sections with the section markers. The beginning of the round, I've got another marker here. So carrying on with the green, just holding that tail in place, I'm knitting another 24 stitches, so that's 3, 4, 5, 23, 24. Now I'm going to drop the green, I'll put on a section marker. I'll bring this green over to the right, out of the way, and I'll bring in another colour. Keep the section marker on. So I'm bringing in the brown. Give yourself about a six inch tail again. Needle through. With the one hand hold the tail and just carry on knitting. So I want another 24 stitches in this section. It's 1, 2, 21, 22, 23 and 24. So put section marker, bring the brown over to the right I'm going to add in a pink, just keep these colours in some kind of order there as you go. Over to the right, bring in the pink, no crossing of yarns. So just needle in, hold on to the tail with the one hand and start knitting. Now this pink's my last colour. I'm adding in so I've got all four colors on now and it will end up going through the beginning of the work and meeting up where I left off with the blue and that's the magic of helix stripes you with one color you always end up doing twice the amount of stitches per round as you do with the other colours but they alternate. So 
I've got back to the end of the pinks. I've gone through the beginning as I said I would. The blue, you, it's hard to tell because the ribbing is in the blue, but the blue was the first colour used for that first section. And I finished off with the blue right there and I'm picking that up now and I'm leaving the pink. Now, I'm just going to, as I'm starting off, this is what I want to show you at the beginning. I'm tensioning my tail. Go in. Here also, you're looking at tension because you don't want to pull um, the, get that out of the way, pink over to the right, out of the way. Pull up the blue from underneath. You don't want to pull that blue too tight because you've got to create a continuity of stripes. I'll just tension down that green a bit and I'll have a look at it, make sure I'm satisfied with my tensions. You can get an idea by pulling everything, all the yarns. Nothing seems to be too loose or too tight. Continue on with my blue for this section. And do the same again. I'll be tensioning the tail of the next one. And I'll be tensioning the yarn I've left off. And most of all, most importantly, I'll be tensioning the colour I bring up from the previous row. So here I am, just finishing off the last of the blue stitch there. The green is what has to come up now. But I've got this brown tail to deal with as well. So just when you're starting off, it can just get a little bit tricky. So I'm bringing this blue that I've just finished off over the top of all my work to the right. Then I'm going to, in order of colours, just bring them all along in the right order. So I'm bringing up the row underneath, which is the green. And here it is. Now, like I said, I've got this brown tail to deal with, so I'm just going to hold it down. Not too tightly. Just enough. Put my needle in. So I've got that brown tail held down nicely now. I've tensioned it so I'm comfortable. I feel good about that. I want to make sure I've got the right tension on the green and remember I'm not crossing the yarns because I want the stitch here, this last stitch in the previous green row to show. I don't want to pull the green too tight and it disappears. I want it to be just right. I don't want it too loose either because I don't want to have that type of thing going on. So I don't want it to be too loose. Not too loose, not too tight. So blue out of the way. Green, tension it just right. Now got my tail of my brown tensioned. Satisfied with my green tension. I'll have a look in a minute when I wrap it around the needle. So get that one around. Now I'm going to just pull everything To adjust, yes, the last green stitch, I'm happy that it looks good. 
and the first green tension just right and I'll keep on knitting so it's just this first round you just want to make sure everything's just right Every, the, everything's happening just as it should so I've just got to the end of this green row now I'm still dealing with loose tails in this case a, a pink loose tail I'll just hold on to that hold it down go through now bring the green over the top of the work right over to the right hand side pick up the brown from underneath make sure that last stitch of the brown is just the right size to cre create a visual continuity of brown stitches pull the pink tail and hold it at the back make sure it's all happening in the green yes I've got a continuity of brown the brown last stitch in that previous row underneath is just right so I'm going to carry on knitting now with my brown I'm on the last stitch of the brown the brown came through the round marker so I've completed two rounds and I'm on my third round now section marker over I bring the brown right over to the right hand side no crossing of yarns I'm picking up my next colour which is the pink I want to tension it just right so that that last stitch of pink underneath is just the right size so I'm just holding that green tail and I'll carry on knitting with the pink I'm happy with how it looks with the, its tension and I always like to do a visual check at a colour change to make sure I've got a good tension got to the end of the pink it's the same again section marker over needle in pink over the top of the work to the right hand side move your other walls along and I'm bringing up the blue check the tension as you put it around here's another tail I'm still dealing with on the fourth round and I'm happy with that tension and off I go I'm going to leave you with a tip and um, this is what I do anyway as you get going with your stripes to get the consistency of the tension as you come up to the next row go into your stitch and then using the colour that you're just getting rid of, which in this case is the pink, bring it over that left needle and hold it. Because that's more or less the tension it's going to be taking next time when you come back around to it. Then bring up the colour you're about to use and knit as per usual let go then of that one you can then bring that old color over and you've got an instant matching stitch